Simulation nodes is possibly one of the most powerful techniques added to Blender recently. The scope of possibilities is vast, and so to be able to master it, you need to understand various concepts and techniques. Whether it's using simulation nodes to simulate physics, like interaction with gravity, force fields, or other particles, like particle-particle collisions, or else just using simulation nodes as an alternative to Blender's particle system. To truly master simulation nodes, you'll also need to know how to use simulation nodes for just abstract renders that don't have to be physics simulations. So in today's video, we'll be exploring three major video tutorials that will help you learn simulation nodes from scratch so that you can become a pro. We'll be talking about exactly what techniques you'll be learning in each video while also listing out other follow-up videos that will help you concretize your concepts. Then we'll finally end by listing out five other tutorials that you can watch to create abstract animations using simulation nodes. Links to every tutorial will be present in the description and I'm sure this video will be helpful. So let's start it right off. Starting off, we have particles and sphere interactions using simulation nodes. This was the first simulation nodes based tutorial that I created. So we go into a lot of details about every single step while explaining why we're doing everything that we do. You will learn how to distribute particles in 3D and then make them interact with each other with attractive forces and collision type physics. You will then learn how to get these particles to interact with external objects as well, which can be animated based on your preferences to maybe follow a curve or just have positions keyframe. A great follow-up to this video is the fluid particles trapped in a glass sphere tutorial, where we build upon the techniques explored in this video to help trap particles within a sphere. Moving the sphere around causes the particles to swoosh around, and we even touch upon exporting simulation data to attributes, allowing you to give faster moving particles different colors or make them light up as seen in these videos. Beyond that, we also learn how to add gravity to particles to help them accelerate downwards until they interact with the edge of the sphere. The next simulation nodes based tutorial that you definitely must watch is the stylized black hole or galaxy using simulation nodes tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to create a particle system using simulation nodes and keep track of the age of particles to help optimize the simulation. Apart from that, you will learn how to manage and delete points to create different shapes, such as the arms of a spiral galaxy in this case. A great follow-up video to this one is the cosmic megastructures using simulation nodes tutorial, as you can learn how to simulate force fields to help create different structures for the emitted particles. Combining these videos with the techniques from the next video will allow you to convert these to looping animations as well. The next most important video when it comes to learning simulation nodes is the abstract looping lines using simulation nodes tutorial. In this video, you'll learn not only about particle systems using simulation nodes, but also how to loop the particle systems. This ends up acting as a very important base and technique, which can be combined with other videos to make them go on forever. You'll also be learning how to use random values to create different colors for different lines, but also how to ensure that the different objects that are being combined together to make up each line retain the same color. A simple follow-up to this video would be the radial neon lines in a starburst effect video, which will be a shorter video just to ensure that you've grasped the concept of looping particle systems. If you do want another video on how to loop particle systems, you can check out the Neon Hearts Trails video, which is also a very similar video. When it comes to the best abstract animation tutorials using simulation nodes, another fun image from Circles Effect using simulation nodes is a must-watch video, where you'll learn how you can use simulation nodes to reveal images like this. We also touch upon methods to create it without simulation nodes as well, so you actually learn the alternatives too. A perfect follow-up video would be the cinematic logo reveal using simulation nodes, where we use simulation nodes to not only reveal other images, but do it in a completely different way, creating much more abstract results. We touch upon using vector math and the dot product to create this, so it's definitely worth checking out. Another fun effect can be learned in the star trails using simulation nodes tutorial, where we create star trails as can be seen on the screen right now. Another abstract simulation nodes technique that is not spoken about too much in other videos, but is very helpful in creating various kinds of animation can be learned in this video over here, which is the cookie eating animation using simulation nodes. If used properly, you could expand this technique to paint in or paint out various 3D objects as well. Finally, particle advection flow using simulation nodes will be the perfect video to go back and test out your understanding 
of simulation nodes once you're done with all of these tutorials. This will allow you to create amazing energy bursts of particles that can be emitted from various surfaces, such as spheres, planes, or even characters if you wish to do so. I really do hope you found this video useful and there's a lot of other simulation videos that didn't make it on the list this time. So if you actually liked the videos on this list, do check out the entire playlist if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video comes out, keep creating and don't forget to stay creative. For those of you who regularly follow my channel, I do feel the need to mention that this entire compilation was meant to be released a couple of weeks ago while I was in my Japan tournament. However, I wasn't able to release any of these videos during my Japan tournament and once I did come back, I happened to fall sick. However, I'm now healthy and I'm back, so I will continue posting regular tutorials every single day from today onwards. So I do hope that all of the future videos will also help you. And I will try to release one single short film by the end of December. Now that does mean that I might miss one or two days in the middle as well, cause my laptop will have to be rendering the entire animation and it's a pretty long video. So I'm not sure how long it'll take my laptop to render, but I will try to make sure that I post one video every single day for the next couple of months to come at least. Until then, thank you so much for staying along for the ride. And I do have a few very special videos coming up in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that as well. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Keep creating and don't forget to stay creative.